One. The first time I saw bones, it was in a riddle. What are the only bones you can see? I answered, my hips, a foot turned outward, the heart. The heart, I was told, is a muscle. But if it can shrivel and turn to dust, if it's as solid as, as thick as, as hard as, if it's hollow like marrow, porous like a feeling, then why not? Why not a bone? Back to the dust. I always come back to the dust. The sweep of it across my skin, the heat that must be applied to turn those bones. A body, an urn of ash, a person, a love, could be a love. Gone, but not really. Just the script has changed. A shape folded in on itself. My mother would scream from the kitchen, Jesus Christ, Miha, it's teeth. The answer is teeth. What are the only bones you can see? The answer is teeth. Why do you always got to read into everything? <laughs> I was never any good at games. Two. You could say it came in a hurry. They say it's never a good time to break up, but really, it's never a good time to break. So the best method is to do it quickly and then walk away from it like your last cigarette gone wet in the rain. It's just not working. I've always wondered why relationships are relative to work. I wait tables, I serve food, I deal with drunks, assholes, and people who think I'm stupid. And sometimes I wish they were right, because then maybe so much of this life just wouldn't bother me. That is work. A relationship, a love affair, a destiny, that's the past in the making. My heart just can't take it anymore. And there it is, the heart. The heart that makes room, then evicts you. The heart that says, I can't live without you. The heart that doesn't say anything anymore. I gotta go. And the feeling never sits in my chest, but in my bones, the thick density of being alone. And when they leave, and they always leave. I remember the ruins of Mazatlan or clay pots and brown bones on an altar in Mexico City. The label beneath them, a donde eres, no persona no ser. La persona es la calavera en el fin, and who will find me? I lean against walls, press into the soft edge of a building that sits on more bones without labels or museums to remember them, or all the dreams we carry beyond muscle and flesh and memory, and as I push myself onto the sidewalk and further into another San Francisco night, I'm amazed I even stand upright, lost in this fragile anthropology.